Hey there, I'm Josh, and welcome to the advanced tutorial on building small molecules. This is my friend Kata. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I've helped build Nanome and really excited to show, you know, the capabilities of the MedChem tool and to build small molecules. Uh, I'm not a chemist by any means, but Josh is. So we're really excited to show you some of the great capabilities of the MedChem tool today. Josh? Thanks, Kata. So to get started, you're going to want to open up the MedChem tool from the entry list menu. Then you'll click on the modify button. Then click on the tools button. And finally, click on MedChem. You'll find the MedChem panel pop up in your left hand and the selection tool on your right. Down at the bottom of the panel, you'll find three options build, edit, and delete. To show off build, I'm going to pass it back to Kata. Cool. So the MedChem tool and building small molecules is a really hands-on process. Um, and so the main kind of workspace that we're going to be working with is then going to be in this direction here. And so instead of trying to you know, show you kind of what we build and how to use the menus um, and trying to guess where you might be, uh, we actually actively encourage you to teleport around so that you can get the best um, ang uh, viewing angle. And in fact, you know, being literally in my shoes, uh, you know, right here, you can also see my exact kind of uh, way that uh, I'm interacting with the menus and things like that. So we encourage teleporting around uh, to get a really good view that you want to. So as Josh mentioned, we're going to pull up the MedChem tool through the entry list. And uh, just a, as a reminder, that we can actually um, uh, use or pull up the MedChem tool using the tools menu shortcut on your right hand controller. Now the exact button is going to depend on your VR headset and your exact controller. Um, and so in order to figure that out, be sure to check out the Nano Basics tutorials to sh showcase what exactly each button does on your controller um, and to pull up the, med uh, the tools menu shortcut. Because that way I can quickly switch between you know the, the hand tool, the medchem tool, and uh, so on and so forth. And so now that we have the medchem tool uh, right here with us, um, there are two main tabs on the medchem tool. One is the prep, and the other one is the build. And so in the prep tab, there is a uh, slew of different types of configurations that you can go through. So we definitely invite you to check that out um, but for today, we're going to be going over some of the basics. So we're just going to go to the build side of things. And what's most powerful about the MedChem tool is that you can build any uh, chemical or uh, chemical structure from the atom up using the periodic table. And so if you go down to the bottom right corner of the MedChem panel uh, to the periodic table icon here, you can see all kinds of elements from the periodic table. And so Let's say I want to build a six-member carbon ring. I'm going to choose the carbon atom over there. Uh, and we've also got some presets organic um, elements in the build panel already. And so I can toggle between you know, nitrogen, oxygen, and so on and so forth from there. Or I could, of course, use the entire periodic, uh, periodic table. And so I'm going to, again, build a six-member carbon ring. I'm going to start off with a carbon. And so notice that in the entry list, there are no structures currently in this session. And so in order to place this carbon uh, molecule or uh, atom here, I'm going to uh, click and hold with my index finger. And then now I've placed this carbon in the scene. And so in order to continue building, what I can do is I can click and drag from this existing carbon and I can draw a bond. And so the location at which I place the next atom is where I release the trigger because I'm holding the trigger right now. And so where when I release the trigger right here, it's going to release it. And of course, there can't be a bond length that long. And so when I release it, it's going to automatically run a energy minimization calculation to correct that bond length. And please note that right now I'm on a PC VR uh, system using Windows, which is why it automatically comes with uh, minimization. But if you're on a all-in-one device like the Oculus Quest, then you will need stacks in order to access minimization um, on your structures. And so now that we've placed 
uh, two carbons. We're missing four, so I'm going to continue to place these carbon uh, atoms. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, and uh, let's say I accidentally press uh, the put the six carbon like that way. Uh, it's really hard to connect these two carbons, right? So what I can do here is that I can go over to the edit mode within the MedCam panel, and I can uh, go into the set settings, make sure that I'm in the atom selection mode, so that I'm selecting single atoms, and I select that one single carbon atom. I could go over to the edit tab, go to mover, and then I could move this single carbon atom over this way. It's a lot easier that way. It's a, it's a great way to do some manual you know, editing of your structures. And so now that we got the um, carbon on this side, I could go back to the build side. And so there's two ways that I could connect these two carbons. I could either use um, the existing carbon um, uh, selection here, and I could draw a bond between, or I can undo that. And uh, oh, it looks like I did undid um, too many times here, so let me just do that again. And I'm going to go into build, and instead of using carbon, I can bring out the single bond tool, and I could connect those two bonds just like that. And there you have it. We got a single uh, six-member carbon ring. Awesome. So, Josh, you know, six-member six carbon rings are cool, but you know what's cooler? Benzene rings. <laughs> totally. So, so tell me what is the difference between a six-member carbon ring and a benzene ring? Easy. You got three double bonds in there. Three double bonds. All right. So I'm going to, uh, instead of using the single bond tool, I'm going to go over to the double bond uh, selection over here in the MedCam panel. Now I could start placing double bonds. So uh, where should we place the first uh, double bond? Yeah, let me, let, me, let me go ahead and point with my laser pointer here. All right. I'm going to replace single. that. Boom. I got a double bond there. Now gonna, let's place that single. Boom. Perfect. And lastly, this All one right. over here. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Kata. Awesome. So, wow. You know, you can really tell the difference between the stability of a six-member carbon ring and a benzene ring with those double bonds. It's just so much more flat. Um, and it's amazing to see that, you know, visually and in full 3D. Um, totally. And, but, and so, hey, Kata, something to yeah. keep in mind is these double bonds do take up orbitals. But mm, it's yeah. kind of hard to tell without our hydrogens. Boom. So I just I just turned on the auto hydrogens uh, tab in the prep menu, and now you can see all the hydrogens, and this is automatically gets updated as you modify as well. So thanks for that, Josh. So one thing we wanted to point out was that instead of pl uh, using atom by atom. Oh, and by the way, let's say that you know what I you know I get the hydrogens, but I don't want to see the hydrogens all the time. I can go to my edit panel and delete hydrogens, and now we'll delete the hydrogens for me. Um, and so instead of placing atom by atom, you can also build by functional group as well. And so if I go into the build, you might have seen um, the hexane, pentanes, and butane, and propane here in my panel. And I can actually add more functional groups to this using the library setting. So if you click on setting library, then this menu pops up where you can start uh, looking through all kinds of different types of functional groups to add to this panel. And so um, there's different categories, but for now, let's check out all. There's different viewing modes as well. So between residue view and property view, where you can see the, the heavy atoms. Um, you can also zoom in and you know get the get the get uh, a big view of these functional groups. Uh, I like them really small. And in fact, um, I like the menu small too. And this way, you can really kind of you know get to compare uh, like what it's like between each of these functional groups and what you built as well. Um, and so on top of that, there's also three selection type views where you can toggle between. Right now, we're seeing all the possible um, uh, functional groups that you can choose between. And so you see here, um, we got protein, propane over there, propane here. So whatever is highlighted is uh, whatever you see in the build menu. So let's say I want to add ethane. I'm going to put click on that and boom, I got ethane. Ethane is how you pronounce it right 
Ethan, Perfect. you okay. got it. Just making sure, because we have a person named Ethan. So I was like, huh, didn't know there was an Ethan. Um, anyways, um, in our team, shout out to Ethan for that. Um, but uh, you know, we can also uh, click on the different selection type views, and these are all the ones that are that are currently in your panel. Uh, these are ones that are not in your panel, and these are all the ones uh, that you can possibly add. And so um, if we go uh, into this section over here, I can start adding different types of functional groups like amine, um, a ketone, um, a nitro group, a nitrile group. Um, and so now I could, um, you know, I could just literally just like how I did with the carbons, I can either start from scratch or I could just start, you know, building like that. Um, uh, this is a crazy, crazy structure here. Now, I don't want to go too crazy and just create a random molecule. I'm going to let Josh actually make something for us here. So I'm going to undo those changes that I just did. And uh, Josh, I'll let you take it from here. Oops. Awesome. Thanks, Kata. I'll go ahead and steal presenter and literally take it away. So I want to go ahead and add a functional group, maybe an amide. I'll go ahead and open up my MedChem tool. Click on the build menu like you've seen with Kata and click on amide, which I've already pre-selected from my libraries. And I'll go ahead and add this guy right here, replacing the hydrogen. Oh, and let me make it a little smaller here. So the uh, black part Ooh. is where you're going to be editing. So um, so if you go back to the amide there, yep. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yep, and that's how you connect it. Yep. Perfect. Thanks, yep. Kata. Mm -hmm. And lastly, let's add an oxygen down here. Perfect. Awesome. And you might recognize this molecule. It's actually the ligand for Tylenol. Wow. Tylenol has helped me so many times that it's so awesome to see that, you know, in VR, like in 3D. It's 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 kind of crazy that this little molecule here has affected me so many times in a good way. Totally. Awesome. You know, now, one thing I also wanted to quickly show off real quick, if I could take presenter. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, one really cool thing, uh, and, and Josh started to show this off is that uh, if you have the MedChem panel, if you have a, let's say, Nitro group, you can actually use, um, and in my case, I'm actually using an HP Reverb or even a, a Oculus would have a joystick. And with the joystick, you can see how I'm rotating the functional group that I'm about to place around. And so you can, instead of, you know, you, you, if you find yourself at a weird angle like this, like that, you can just kind of, you know, rotate around with the joystick and get that right angle. Oh, of course, you know, you can also move it around with your, you know, left hand as well. You can do both hands. All this, all these are uh, available while you um, kind of add it. So it's just a different way to adjust um, and kind of fine tune exactly how you're going to. Uh, you know, make your modifications. But I just wanted to show that because, um, you know, you could totally, you don't have to kind of be at a weird angle if you don't want to be. Um, of course, you can walk around too if you have room scale VR, uh, which would be awesome as well. But anyways, uh, but yeah, Josh, we're going to finish up. You know, I think there's just one last feature I want to touch on. And that would be over in the prep section, edit backbones. Perfect. So I'll give you back presenter. Perfect. Oh, and the, probably the deletion tool, right? Absolutely. So let's do the deletion tool first. I'm going to go ahead and select it right here. And delete this oxygen. I can make the volume of my selection bigger or smaller by pushing down on the thumbstick. Though, you might find yourself with a thumb pad if you're on a different kind of headset with different controllers. To undo that deletion, I'll just click Undo. Alright, I don't want to go too much into Backbones today, but the Edit Backbones feature does let you edit that tertiary structure of whatever compounds you have selected. I think that concludes our advanced tutorial, Kata. Perfect. Well, thanks for helping out with my chemist, my lack of chemistry knowledge 
that was really helpful and hopefully you enjoyed our advanced tutorial series on the medchem tool and how to create small molecules uh, definitely check out the other tutorials we got some amazing tutorials made by the rest of our team um, so definitely check that out and thanks so much uh, for downloading and using nano see you around see you in nano